My name is Ruben Lenton, professional extreme big air kiteboarder. And I'm Aaron Hadlow, five times kiteboarding world champion. We are on a mission to push the limits of kiteboarding once again. Traveling the world to ride the best spots. Checking out the sickest events. And having an epic time along the way. The adventure continues. We are on the loose. It was time for a new adventure. This time we headed out to the Canary Islands, a group of Spanish islands off the coast of northwestern Africa. Rugged and unforgiving volcanic islands known for their strong winds and beautiful landscapes. We've both been to the Canary Islands before, but never experienced and explored it by boat. This was our chance to find unridden spots and track down the best conditions. As soon as we arrived, the wind was on and we headed out for our first session. Well, Aaron is finally getting ready to have a session. Just been waiting an hour, it's just like normal. We've been waiting for days for this guy to get ready. Unheard of. You still got to do your lines yet? Oh, my lines, shit. Well, <laughs> give me another day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> What a beautiful spot, bro. So good to ride together again. Yeah, great session. I'm excited to see what tomorrow brings. Slept super good. It's nice. Just rock to, rock to sleep like a baby. <laughs> yeah, try to find some wind. There once was a ship that put to sea And the name of the ship was the Bully Hearty The winds blew hard, her bow dipped down Oh, blow me, Bully Boys, blow Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue in is done, we'll take our leave and go. She hadn't been to... As has already checked the map and he knows exactly where we're going. He's good at that, kind of pointing out the right spot. So uh, I think we'll be there in like 45 minutes. Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue in is done, we'll take our leave and go. We're always up for some adrenaline, and during the sail we spotted something that could work. Let's see it. It looks like a great way to start the session. I think we're gonna jump together. <laughs> it's alright. It's a big discussion going down, the right way to do it. Because if we go together there's like an issue with the kites maybe crossing. Yeah, I think it's picked up a little bit. I think we take nine, and then bust off the top and then hopefully it picks up even more send some loops and yeah we'll go for a session afterwards anyway um, well if we make it down <laughs> that's and I thought it was a good idea she just hug herself off a cliff the wind is just so turbulent here three two one go Here we are! 
Unfortunately, the wind didn't pick up as much as we'd hoped for, so we decided to pack up and carry on to the next mission. Well, there was quite some adrenaline up there. We were preparing the kites, the guys were holding the kites, sweating balls because the kite was going like... It was just super gusty up there. But in the end, uh, we got ourselves together and uh, we both had our kite up in the air and then decided to jump together and it was just freaking amazing just to see everyone fly next to me. And then we had a safe landing. Oh, there he is! 500 meters swimming! That was great, brother. We yeah. survived! <laughs> that was good. That was funny. I was trying to get in for the angle and I'm like, oh, it'll be fine and then... But it was great fun. That's what good friends are for, right? To do epic shit. got even lighter, so Aaron decided to jump on his foil whilst we sailed to find a good spot to anchor the boat for the night. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what are you doing? Fully concentrated on my coffee making. Look at that. Getting ready for the day. So what's today's plan? Well, we hope in today, well, we have more wind than expected. Um, there's a small lagoon just around the corner that fills up at high tide. So we're just waiting for that in a, should be in like an hour or so. Go for a little freestyle session. Let's see if uh, the knees can take it. Why, why, why can the knees take it? Oh, just, uh, well, I had an injury a long time ago. And yeah, just when you push it really hard these days, it's, uh, it's hard on the body, the freestyle. I still enjoy it, it's still my favorite thing to do, but I have to just like take it a little slower than I would like. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can do today. It's still gonna be fun. Looking good, wind? Yeah. The wind's really good, yeah. It's much more than expected, it's picking up. Um, we have forecasts for good wind most of the time, but obviously when it's in, like you just have to make the most of it. And today's one of those days, I think. The first, nice. the first. First coffee, wake it up. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron is a freestyle professor and he got really excited when we spotted that lagoon, whilst I was just freaking out as it was so super shallow. It's just incredible how he manages to pull off all those tricks with so little room for error. The wind wasn't super strong, I was a bit underpowered on my 12 and it was pretty shallow, but I had to make the most of it. Alex was there taking photos so I decided to bust out a couple of moves that would look good on camera. 
un corazón destruido no deja de palpitar, de palpitar. Mi amor es blanco y fiel, no tiene fronteras, no maldad. Mi amor es Hey Reeves, launch your kite. I think it's time to find a better spot. Okay, wait for me. Eza, you've been here before, or what? Looks like we're riding at your nude beach, mate. That's right up your street. Right, Rubes? The conditions feel pretty good, though. Let's go. Focus. Ooh, nice pair. I'm not sure if as I even spotted them. He's in the zone. I'm not 20 anymore. Pretty sure I'll feel that one tomorrow. But it felt so good to launch in a few moves off the waves. That was well worth it. Okay, let's get back to the boat and make a plan. In bits, if that's what we say in England. It's the hard freestyle landings. It's a lot of impact and yeah I had the ACL reconstruction quite some years ago I broke it out in yeah almost 10 years ago now but uh, yeah heavy sessions still lead to some swelling and a little bit of restriction so just have to get it back in shape for the next one I got Rubens super duper mega loop recovery massage butter a drug sailor. So guys, guys, pay attention. There's yeah. gonna be like a dramatic change of the plans. Ooh, not dramatic, but it's, it's aggressive. It's aggressive. Okay. Because uh, we're going to have the same wind here, also in the south. It's gonna be the same wind. Why don't we sail tonight down to the south? Downwind. Aaron is gonna be happy. Aaron is not gonna be very happy. <laughs> Aaron is gonna be. He's gonna be happy because he's, he's sleeping. He's not gonna. He's gonna wake up tomorrow and say, "What the fuck? Where are we? Where did he take me, man?" I think it's a great plan. You know, always listen to the locals. We're here for a great Canary Island experience, and these guys know what up. So, let's hope we score some wind and beautiful locations. But I'm game. We have to find an adventure. It's gonna be like seven hours sail, maybe six. Yeah. We sailed through the night, 
and when we arrived, we woke up to this beautiful island with crystal clear waters. perfect day to relax and Aaron took advantage of the light wind and explored the area on his wing foil. Yup, he's a wing dinger now. With our batteries recharged, we were ready for another adventure. And an adventure is what we got. We had our eyes on this little island where the wind would just hit perfectly. It looked super rough though, and we were told no one had ever kited here. Uh, yeah, some options. Could be okay. Are you the captain or just the weatherman? I'm <laughs> just ob observing. Not knowing what to expect, we decided to go for it. When we got closer, it got clear to us why nobody had ridden here. Only volcanic rocks and nowhere to launch. This place is spooky, but we were sure we could make it work. so rough out here and super gusty. Don't tell Essa I just rode past a massive hammerhead shark out here. I guess this is the only way out. Cheers for the help, mate. Good luck launching by yourself. Self-launch, sketchiest one of all time. And I've got a tangled bridle. Okay, let's go fix it. Let's try again. That looks sketchy. I'm glad you made it out, bro. Let's try and find some stronger wind. Oh man, it's getting so crazy gusty out here. What? Look at Ezra fly. That was the most insane experience of my life with a kite, I think. The most crazy wind, sketchy launch. 
and then the wind was insane. I was just searching to get these up lifts and had one with like probably 10 loops, just 30 mm -hmm. seconds in the air. It was crazy. Woo! That's Thanks, a good. Good. That's yeah, adventure, sure. right? <laughs> yeah, that was a really good one. Super unexpected as well. Crazy session. What a location. Wind was absolutely crazy. I'm done. Done. That was hard work. That took all my skills to, to deal with. <laughs> Wow, wind was going like full 360, my kite just like falling in front of me, I was like, well, what's happening? <laughs> Adios, la granza. You know? Muchas gracias. That was a great adventure. Really enjoyed that. <laughs> That's what we came for. Oh, 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 Oh. <laughs> well, if you thought the last one was sketchy, then look at this launch. This guy's brought all his foil gear. I only have my beauty case. <laughs> <laughs>